Whoa, what do you think you're doing back here watching me play a video game? Wow, you must have nothing to do! Just kidding, you would obviously want to come watch this because I didn't resolve the last video appropriately because it was a fluke in the video game. It did not successfully show the last bit of uh, dialogue and events that occur at the end of Ravenholm. And it was very sad. And I was very sad. We were all very sad. So I'm going to redo just that last couple of minutes and go from there. I'm going to continue and also begin with showing you what you didn't see last time that you so desperately needed to see. So here we go. Back to the graveyard in the Raven home. So what's going to happen is uh, Father Gregory's trying to get us out of here. And so we got to continue to fight these guys for a second so that he can open the door for us. And the issue last time with the scripting was that uh, there were too many zombies around, and so it failed to trigger what it was supposed to. Woe betide thee, child! Okay. Also, forgot to say, sorry, uh, this video game's violent, and it's not gonna get any better, so uh, if you don't want to see that, don't watch. Take out that last head crap. Farewell, brother! I fear I deliver you to a darker place. May the, the light, light of lights lights. illuminate your path. Look to your own salvation. <laughs> That's what happens. As you can see, he's still shooting. Uh, so, I think that's pretty epic. Let's talk about it. Uh, like I said, that's what failed to occur last time when we were playing. Um, that whole sequence of him uh, getting caught in the fire, uh, that didn't happen for whatever uh, scripting reason. So, how many times can I say that? So it seems that he accidentally dies by those uh, tanks catching on fire. But no matter what, it wasn't a glitch. No matter what you do, and I've played this game for years, I have it memorized. No matter what, he is still yelling when he goes in there and shooting, and so he doesn't, like, die immediately. And if you stand around, he doesn't die. So it seems like maybe, maybe he's supposed to be some kind of, like, you know, supernatural guy, or, uh, I don't know, what I've always thought is just that he dies heroically trying to save you, and he succeeds at saving you, so, a very dramatic part. Alright, so, I don't, I've never, I've never really been sure if this part counts towards the, uh, only using the gravity gun in Ravenholm, Dole, uh, but, um, uh, I'm gonna say that it does. So, I mean, we're still in Ravenholm, we're just in Ravenholm's mines where they mine for redstone and gold and diamonds and things. So here we go. Uh, we're going to proceed as if, uh, as if uh, we definitely need to still use the gravity gun to get that achievement, which I've already uh, achieved. If I had to make that swim in real life, I might not make it. I'm not a strong swimmer. Ah, the fire. OK, uh, here's a torso. Uh, here's legs, and here's a torso. Here's a lever. Again, dude's got a ton of 305 V8s just laying about. Uh, and the means to make them into death machines. This one, uh, especially uh, brutal and effective. Hi. And deadly. Hi. Uh, uh. Okay. Success. We have not been chopped. I, you know, if that thing has open headers and uh, open engine, not even open headers, it would be loud. Okay. This moment right here, exiting Ravenholm, is one of my favorite moments in the game. Just. I 
which is, it's so cool with the, the start of that music. It's like we're emerging into the day. We've just gone through some real like difficult stuff and scary stuff and like what if we just seen did that really happen? It's just like a, a really cool vibe. And now we're free to use weapons again, other than the gravity gun. I forgot I'm playing on hard. So the the uh, numbers of hits that things take is going to be different. Okay. Can I get you midair? I can, just not, not all the way. Okay. So if you've never played this game before or uh, you just have no idea what's going on, I wouldn't blame you. So the goal right now so what's going on in this story is that is that um, Gordon Freeman, the guy that I'm playing, uh, I just got done going through Ravenholm, which is an abandoned mining town that was previously bombed to all heck by the Combine, which are the evil uh, antagonist forces of this game. And so that town was uh, doomed by them. Uh, to all turn into zombies because they bombed it with headcrab shells. And so, uh, I had to go through that town because uh, it backed up to this uh, secret facility where my allies uh, were holed up. Um, and that place was called Black Mesa East. Uh, and so I was hanging out with my allies, Alex Vance and Eli Vance. And we were bombed by the Combine. And so a wall caved in, and in order to escape, I had to go through Ravenholm. And so now, um, the goal is just to continue escaping, which I have, because now I've gotten through Ravenholm. Uh, and so that's where we are. Uh, and overall, we're banding together to fight, uh, to fight the Combine. These guys. Weapons! Weapons. Ah! So, hi! Hello! Oh, I should have launched that back at him. So, that gets one of the best guns in the game. This. It, the uh, Pulse Rifle. Overwatch standard issue. So, it is like a rail gun. And it has a really good uh, vault fire that we don't have any ammo for right now, but it shoots like a plasma ball that bounces all around and uh, is a neat situation. Okay, so let's let's do this. Ah. Also, just like a really good uh, bullet noise that this gun does. So I'm going over here because there's a Easter egg. So that is the G-Man. If you've watched the previous videos, you know that there are G-Man sightings throughout this game, like that one, that are in these discreet, kind of secretive locations. That guy is watching you the entire game. He's like monitoring your progress because he's in control of everything to uh, to sort of a mysterious degree. Like he seems to have a hand in everything, and he has since the first game. Um, and he plays some direct role in the fact that you're still alive, because he saved you in the end of the first game. Um, not necessarily saved you, but he got you out of a bad situation, and so he employed you. Me, Gordon, the main character. So he shows up randomly. Here, I'll fire that old fire in here. Winston's been hit. Patch him up and get him to the back as soon as he's stable. Poor Winston. Gordon Freeman. Yo. It's incredible you made it. We've been getting communications from Alex. I'll see if I can reach her again. Let somebody fix it. Follow incredible. me. Because it sure was. I'm ready to go. Okay. It's Leon. We're all clear. And I've got Gordon Freeman. Dr. Freeman, you're kidding. Look, I've been on the line with Alex. Her father's been captured. Over Dang here, Dr. Freeman. Eli Vance, 
is indispensable to the liberation. It's true. Uh, in other words, Eli Vance is Alex, it's important Leon, for the rebels. And I've got Gordon Freeman with me. What's up, Alex? Nice monitor. Gordon, Where'd you guys get this from? You made it through Circuit City? Thank God. I need your help. They've taken my father. He's been and the resolution's good. The border guards tracked the ship that made off with him and Judith Mossman. While the trains are still running, I'm going to hitch a ride. Here's where you come in, Gordon. I need you to make your way along the coast until you get to Nova Prospect. It used to be a high-security prison. It's something much worse than that now. But I think it's still easier to sneak in than to break out. You wanted to take the coast road? You won't last five minutes on foot. It's spawning season for the ant lions. That's why I called you, Leon. I was hoping you still had the scout car we left with you last summer. The one my dad rigged with the Tau cannon. Yeah, good idea. Dang Hold on right. a sec. Narco? Bring the buggy out. Put it on the dock right now. Gordon Freeman will be driving it. Will do. I just finished mounting an ammo crate on the back. Good timing. Okay, Alex, we're all set. <sighs> Thanks, Leon. We're here. Gordon, I haven't driven the coast in over a year, but I have no reason to think it's gotten any safer. Meet me in the depot where the trains unload. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in Nova Prospect. Hey, one thing before you go. Uh, Hi, Alex. I, just, I wanted to make sure... Okay. Okay, Doc. Before you hit the road, you might want to grab some med kits, uh, restock on ammo, maybe check the map, see where you're headed. Yeah. There's an ammo uh, supply crate on the back of the car. That's in comfort. I'm at a cool 41. Stay with the car. HP. Make so. The bumpers, and stand a fair uh, chance against the ant lions. I'll radio ahead to let the next base know you're coming. Thanks for the health kits. Uh, all Shore I got was some, NLO. some suit batteries. Shore point to New Little Odessa. Uh, New Little Odessa. Nice. Green. Nice axle. Looks like you replaced your differential with a muffler. New little Odessa. We're here. Odessa, Shore point. And we take this road up here to this base. And the map then is across out of this bridge. But you can still see more or less the route to Nova Prospect. Can't vouch for the road, though. We've lost touch with some of the outposts. Huh. Uh, that was a genuine reaction because Shore point I, NLO. I've never heard that Shore dialogue point before. New Odessa. Come in, Odessa. Uh, Do you I didn't leave? know if he stood here long enough he would say something. So we're going to get there. And then up there is where we're going. Shore point uh, NLO. All right, let's get away from this guy. So, uh, the goal is to go rescue Alex's dad, Eli Vance, who's been captured by the Combine in the previously mentioned raid. The car's all ready for you. Yeah, it is. And so, uh, he's been taken to the Combine-operated prison, Nova Prospect, so we have to drive there. And in order to get there, we have to go through all of this coastland that is infested with those creatures down there, these alien creatures called antlions. And the thing about the antlions is that if you touch the sand, they know it, and they deburrow and attack you. Which is why we're in the car. Hold on. Sorry, dog. Thanks! I would surely be dead if this were real life! Yeah, oh yeah, nice. That was like a sick tray flip that I just pulled off with the gravity gun there. Yeah! Uh, yours truly is from uh, South Carolina in real life. So, uh, dirt roads in a dune buggy? Sounds great, I'm in. Wee! Yeah, and so, this thing's got a handbrake. We're good to go. Okay. Hit that turbo. Yeehaw! So this section of the game is not as awesome as the uh, as the airboat section, in my opinion. I just have like a real like love for the airboat section. But this is pretty dang great too. <laughs> Excuse me. Gosh, the no. <laughs> The Aldi soda, it, it really goes off. Uh, Summit Cola, a a delicious and confusing mix of flavor palettes of Coke and Pepsi with uh, somehow less of a sugary feeling, but probably more actual sugar. What's up, pirates? This is where I live. Yo ho, blah 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 blah. Ant lines? Hi. I have a barrel and I'm not afraid to use it. Okay, that's what I thought. Hello. Missed twice. That's great. What's that old movie? Uh, I can never remember what it is. Where uh, drunk dude uh, is trying to hit a target 
six feet away on the side of the barn. He misses. And his friend's like, he did it! He missed the barn. Okay, and because I have the game memorized, I know that there is a... And also, this game came out in 2004. There is a... Uh, poison spider head crab zombie in there. Uh, one of the most terrifying and deadly things in the game, and he's still alive! Holy goodness! Okay, I I hate it when that happens. Again, there's gore in this game. I honestly didn't mean to pick that up. That was completely just instinctive. Okay, these are thumpers. And so those are combine, uh, combine installed devices that literally thump the ground, keeping the antlions away from it. Dude, I love the, I love the art in this area, the, the rusted out ships, beached, and all of the, like, coastal environment pieces are just, like, really neat. Uh, I should play Half-Life Lost Coast on this channel, too. Uh, this channel, as if I've ever played anything on any channel before, other than this. Lost Coast is a short, like, 30 minute max. Uh, great job there. Level that's more of this coastal stuff. It was either removed or it was actually developed later to have uh, like some advancements made in the graphics at the time. But, um, uh, sorry guy, but you're bad. <laughs> so are you. So, uh, oh, there's more of your friends. Anyway, Lost Ghost is good. I should play that. Another G-Man sighting right here. We look through these binoculars, and there he is up on that balcony. Dude with the briefcase talking to the other guy. And that is Colonel Odessa, a guy that we'll meet soon. Okay. Ooh, we're the Combine. We like everything to be cyan blue. Okay, moving on. So there are these, these outposts. That, you know, uh, I want to check something. That's where you fell. Nothing much under here, though. So there are these outposts that, excuse me, summon cola, that occur uh, along the journey here. They're in varying degrees of decay and usage by uh, the rebels, the civilians, to fight against the Combine. A lot of them are overrun by the Combine, like this one. You don't obviously have to stop at these, maybe not obviously, but you don't have to stop at these. The goal is just to press on, but you can stop and check it out and see what kind of ammo and stuff you find. And again, this is the kind of thing I like on these levels where it's like this crappy boat suspended up here by the rusty roof and it's just like a cool thing. Again, South Carolina person. Um, I'm from the upstate of South Carolina. I briefly lived in the middle of South Carolina when I was born. But uh, on occasion, I visit the coast. And we got some really cool beaches in South Carolina. Charleston is a beautiful city. And uh, any aesthetic like that, where there's old buildings, rusted out stuff um, on the coast, awesome. Charleston's obviously not all like that. Gordon uh, Freeman. Charleston's beautiful, but, you know, when you go to beaches, you're bound to find some things that look like that. Gordon Freeman. What up, dude? Hurry, get in the basement. We're expecting gunships at any moment. Colonel Cabbage will be glad to see you made it. Colonel Cabbage? You say that like I have any idea who that is. This still hey, guys. Oh, sorry, you're having a meeting. Is our best bet for taking down a gunship. What's up? Ah, hello. I'll be right with you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Using the laser guide, you can steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses. Ah, yes. Gordon Freeman. I couldn't have asked for a finer volunteer. Oh, you're so welcome. I Colonel really don't Odessa mind. Odessa Cubbage at your service. Ah! Gunship! Damn. Let me just send a warning to Lighthouse Point, and then I'll come right up and lend a hand. Sounds great. I bet you will. Yes. What's up? Laser guided. Oh no, I failed immediately. Okay. We gotta steer past, past the gunship's defenses. 
Um, you know, it's actually really... This seems like it would be something that's kind of annoying to do, but I actually really like these fights uh, in Half-Life 2 because the, the response that you get from the, the feel of controlling the rocket through the mouse is like pretty cool. Like it, it feels like you're doing a lot. Hey, I need some more ammo. Anybody have some ammo? Here, have a med kit. Oh, thanks. Do you have any rockets so I can save our lives? Whee! How many hits do these things take on hard? I failed to count. And we're still going. Thank you. Appreciate that. Would you just have one? I can carry three. Must be my suit. My suit. It's like a shulker box. Okay. Take that, we. And I always like how this person over here, somewhere right there, is gonna like lean against the house or something. Uh, yes, you. <laughs> Acted all tired, like you did anything. Going, Dr. Freeman. Just kidding. You you know well, that's that. Thanks for coming out to help. That was great. I gather you've disposed of that gunship, Dr. Freeman. Your reputation, sir, is well deserved. Thank I shall have someone much. open the gate for you immediately, so that you can drive on. Immediately. I that Dr. Vance is in great need. He is. Let's go. Use extreme caution when approaching the bridge. Radio silence from that outpost leads me to believe it has come under combined control. Still, you're Likely. clearly the right man for the job. You'll make it through if anyone can. Farewell. And please tell Dr. Vance that Colonel Cubbage regrets not having been able to rescue him in person. Is he even going to remember who you are? Uh, the Freeman oh, must now. Oh arrive. gosh. The Eli Vance is held in distress. Checking the map. There. Is there reason for delay? Okay, Let, let's go. All right. Can somebody open the gate, please? Is it, uh, motion. At, uh, oh, are you gonna do it? Thanks. Just kidding. I do that. Ah! Wee -hoo! I was like peeling out right there after he says drive safely. All right. What's next? Guys, somebody throw a grenade. Thank you. Well, that did a lot. Okay. Uh, more of a cool move than extremely effective this time. Okay, check this out because the range on this is really good. Okay. Crane time. Dude, I'll drive anything in real life. I would so have this uh, crane. I would drive this. We gotta move the. We got to move the buggy. Let's play claw machine. Ooh, we might make it this time. Come on! Come on! Yes! Let's get it. Let's get it. Hail that! Alright. Take my VW pan buggy. Take that. Uh. How about your shipping containers? Or. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Man, that's a strong magnet. Physics is nuts. Northern Petrol. Ah. Done. Okay. Let's get out of here. Over the river and through the bridge. To the Combine's house we go. To Nova Prospect all the way. To Nova Prospect, here we go. To get Eli Vance. Maybe I'll get to marry his daughter if I save his butt. Uh, just kidding. Although... Uh, Gordon and Alex do have some chemistry. Not much really develops as far as, like, dialogue or anything like that in the game, because, you know, Gordon doesn't speak. But, uh, here we go! Crashing through! By the end of Half-Life 2, Episode 2, uh, Eli is, uh, like, in approval of the theoretical idea of you guys being together. You didn't know there was gonna be romance in this video. Or at least talked about. Whee! Close call there, huh? That's how much I'm bothered by your presence, gunship. So these things are actually uh, these things are actually alien creatures, and they are not driven by combine uh, or 
other humans. I say this for myself because I constantly have to remind myself. So, what happened in the end of Half-Life 1 is that Gordon Freeman me, defeated uh, the Nihilanth, which is this alien, uh, godlike force. I'm stuck. Oh no. This alien uh, that was... Uh, basically like holding back a gateway um, which prevented the Combine from invading Earth. Um, but this alien was also uh, was also the source of all these smaller aliens invading Earth. And so basically like some aliens were invading Earth, but worse aliens, the Combine, couldn't because the Nehalanth was still alive. And so once Gordon Freeman kills the Nehalanth at the end of uh, the first game, uh, then that creates an opening for the Combine to be able to invade Earth. So the Combine, the bad people in this game, they're not actually people, they're aliens. They're humanoid, but they also have uh, creatures uh, that are a part of their race like the gunship, like that's combine technology, but there's, you know, there's biological aspects to it. So they're super intelligent beings that uh, have taken over. And they took over in this thing called the Seven Hour War, which happened between the two games. So basically what's happening in Half-Life 2 is that the combine are combine technology. Those are called roller mines. The Combine have uh, invaded to the point where they've taken over everything, and it was like very little trouble for them to take over everything. They're oppressive, uh, as we saw earlier in the game, and uh, they have big bad plans for the world. So, we're fighting them. Roller mines are pretty cool looking, right? It's like, uh... It's like that thing from Tron. Clearly I know a lot about Tron. Yeehaw! <laughs> I remember one time... Uh, so I used to play Half-Life with my dad when I was growing up. And when I watched him play this level... I think it must have been like the first time. Um, <laughs> when that happened that sequence right there where there was that explosion and it knocked down that, that power pole. I remember I was like, whoa, in excitement. And I was sitting in the chair with my dad and I like uh, jumped up and accidentally like hit him in the face. Sorry, Padre, for my actions in 2005. Get on out my house. Get on out my attic. Why you in my ceiling? This is not my house. A lot of you guys. Oh gosh, there's somebody in here. Oh no. And that's why we save. Probably also why we shouldn't save on one health. But. But we can prevail. We can make it through this. Dang it. We will do this. See, he dropped some health and I'm fine now. 10 and 27? Fine. Fine. Destruction! Yeehaw! That was unsafe. See, what did I tell you? Back to 100. Rolling down to Old Maui. My boys rolling down to Old Maui. Yes, we're homeward bound to Nova Prospect. Rolling down to City 17. So this, this weapon right here, it's a, uh, it's a rebar heated crossbow. That's pretty serious. Uh, effectively the sniper rifle in this game. That's a, that would be a very, er, excuse me, a very dangerous invention. Force field! Alright. Who wants some? Ah! Uh Oops. Save. 
You ever have dreams that you can quick save? I do. That would be a very, a very dangerous superpower to have. Uh, nervous? Ah! Uh, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I need some help. Anything over here? Nope. Hey, you forgot your chalks. <laughs> that whiz. I don't know why that was funny. Oh no, I was wrong. So that story I said earlier about how I punched my dad, it happened right there when these gas tanks blow up and that thing launches into the air. That's when I punched him. Oh, I missed this. So the uh, the chalks went away and then that thing fell down there. Uh, that combine vehicle. So the combine uh, vehicle was attached to the power for the shield, so now we're good. Here we go, here we go. Ah, I spun out. How embarrassing. Good thing it was in this tunnel where nobody could see it. So we're getting to our stopping point here that I wanted to reach. So there's a bridge up ahead that is a whole different sort of uh, piece of the level. Dang it. Ah, uh, uh, no, no. Fight your way to the other side. There's a bridge up ahead where you have to get out on foot for a while. So I'm going to stop there because it will make for a great starting point in the next video. Because it's a very cool piece of the level. There's the bridge right there. We stop here after we kind of invade this little area. I had no idea somebody was going to come through that door. I say I've played the game before, but... About to die every second of the video. I'll stop here because the next thing is that we have to get out on foot and traverse this bridge. Because up there is another shield. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's just not rendered. Just sprinted up this hill. So there's a shield right here preventing us from getting across the bridge. And there's a shield that way, so we can't go there. So we're going to have to go disable that manually. So We'll pick up here next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And this is a different uh, different type of thing because I actually edited this video. So um, let me know if you like that. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night or whatever. And please join me again in the future whenever I get back to this. And I hope it's sooner than the last time. Goodbye. 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 Alt F9. Get him. Get him. Oh, you got pretty close. Don't get rabies. <laughs> and I've tested my microphone. Testing the microphone. Phone, phone, phone.